Hello everybody. So here is my upgraded version of my battery. Uh, so this battery is very very interesting and I think that this battery can fit in many of grid applications. So in basic I discharge this battery and I get the runtime of 3 hours and 10 minutes on 50 milliamps load. Uh, so the energy which I get on this one I get 206 milliwatt hours. But in this video I will not talk about this uh, battery, uh, but I will talk about the problems which I get when I test the battery. Uh, so in basic uh, two days ago, I think uh, this battery have the energy of 160 milliwatt hours. And today I get 206 milliwatt hours. So what was the problem? The problem was the cabling. Many people which research uh, the area of batteries and supercapacitors use this, the crocodile cables. The crocodile cables are, are really good uh, because it's really easy to use. Uh, you connect one side to the battery and the other side goes to your power supply or some electronic load. Uh, I use these cables a lot. I connect my battery to my electronic load and also my battery to my power supply. And yeah, everything goes fine. Today I need to repair my uh, crocodile cables. Uh, because over the time the connection was not good and so on. So, like you see here, this one is really, really short because I need to cut uh, almost half of the cable uh, to get really good connection. Uh, but then I I realized something here you can see that I make some custom made crocodile cable and yeah so this size is almost identical but the inside of the crocodile cable is really really thin. So today I replace this thin wire with those cables and you see the size, I mean the thickness of each cable. And yeah, in basic here is the problem, because uh, when I test my cell with just normal uh, crocodile cables, uh, like I said, I get 160 uh, milliwatt hours, and today I replace uh, normal cables with a larger one. So I use these crocodile clips which I get from these normal uh, crocodile cables and I just replace the wire. So in basic I will make a little demonstration because this battery is empty I need to uh, I need to charge the battery So right now I connect this battery with these normal cables. Uh, this is my power supply. Okay. And here is my power supply and I will start power supply. So right now you see 
uh, 2.1 volts and 330 milliamps. And now I will connect the second cable on each electrode. You see? No, I charge this battery with half of amp. I will disconnect the second cable. 360. Connect. Half of amp. The same is also when you discharge the battery. Uh, now I will replace these two uh, crocodile cables on each electrode with the larger, with this custom made cable. Seven hundred milliamps. You see, the size is important. <laughs> so I use one normal crocodile cable and one custom made crocodile cable and right now I have I get uh, 500 milliamps I will connect also this one 700 milliamps Uh, so bigger is the cable with more milliamps you will charge your battery and also um, if you discharge battery if you have bigger cable uh, the capacity and everything will be much 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 better now I will connect this battery uh, to my electronic load with normal uh, crocodile cables Now I will connect the second cable, uh, the second uh, crocodile cable. And you see a little bit of increasing now I will add also the second cable on the negative electrode. And again, the curve goes a little bit up. I will disconnect and now I will use my custom made cables.
So here I connect the battery with only one cable on each electrode. Then I connect uh, the second cable on the positive and the second cable on the negative. Then I disconnect uh, one cable on the negative and one cable on the positive. And here I connect my custom uh, made cables. So you see here and here. So in basic, that's it. I think that uh, this, this video will be useful to you if you make some testing on the batteries and supercapacitors. I think that you need to make a custom crocodile cables with bigger uh, cable. So guys, actually that's it. And yeah, we see us in the next video. Bye.